Hey everyone, welcome to the Fruit and Treat Show. And yes, those two things can go together. And I'm living proof of that right here. So my friend Nicholas, he just made a video asking me a question about muscle soreness. He just had his first workout session ever of push-ups and squats. And he's really sore. He really pushed it really hard. He was wondering, is it okay to work out again with sore muscles after like a couple days? Well, since it's your first day ever, I would say just take it easy and take the whole week off and come back at it fresh. But then after that, I would say stick to it, uh, stick to two times a week and keep the intensity high. And I say to keep the intensity high because low intensity is not going to do anything for you. You know, you could do a couple push-ups every single day of your life, but that's not going to get you better at doing 100 push-ups in a row, right? It's the same thing with walking every day. It's like, you know, you could... It's not going to make you a better sprinter, you know, unless you are really overweight and you lose some weight, you know, say you're, you're 500 pounds and you get down to 200 pounds. Yeah, you're going to be able to run faster if you, you know, if you lost some weight. But that's not the situation that we're talking about here. Now, for me, when I go to lift, I try to break my personal record every single time, even if I don't feel like it 100%, um, like I didn't get enough sleep or whatnot, because that can take my... Um, my performance level and drop it by half but i at least i try to attempt it every single time because consistency and staying on a schedule means more than perfection sometimes i surprise myself all of a sudden i like turn on the fraternian beast mode and it just go crazy with breaking all these prs it's not every day that i do crazy things like that but sometimes i have uh, plus, you know, if I start switching out my schedule, it just throws everything off with my other workouts. And if, and it's not every day I get a chance uh, to go to the gym. So that just throws everything off for me. Also, I want to say, you know, I see a lot of weekend warriors out there. And as soon as things don't go 100% their way, you know, they just kind of just like throw in the towel and they're like, oh, whatever. You know, I'm not going to stay in schedule. You know, I'll work out when I feel like it. Well, they don't get they don't get anywhere. You know, you, you go to work and say, "Oh, I don't feel like working today. Sorry, boss." Yeah, you know, they'll fire you right or quick. So hopefully that answered your question. Oh, by the way, uh, now if you're injured or if you have kind of some kind of sharp pain or striking pain, you should stop immediately and take some time off and reevaluate what you're doing and correct yourself because you know usually that's an indication that you have. You're doing bad form or you you have an overuse injury. Um, that's why I recommend only going twice a week if you're going crazy all at all out at it. Um, you know, like I said, you could do push-ups a couple times a day. That's not going to mean anything. Well, hopefully that answered your question. As with the muscle soreness that you have right now, um, I highly recommend to get some heat on those muscles um, to loosen you up. For example, hot showers and saunas, they really help to loosen up the muscles. Uh, I remember one time, I, I did curls for the very first time in a long time, and basically my arms were just like 90 degrees, and I couldn't move them at all. It was just crazy. I, I, I literally could not do this. I, I couldn't straighten my arms up. Um, it was only after I took a really hot shower, I was like, oh, yeah. and then finally I straightened it out. It was incredible. So I learned the power of heat at that uh, at that moment. Um, also, I'm looking for you to break some records, man. I, I can't wait to, to, to see you, man. And everybody else here uh, listening, especially all you vegans out there. Um, so this is another edition of Fruit and Strength. I'll see you guys later. Also, if you don't know who Nicholas is, you should check out his channel. He's got a lot of awesome vegan and fruitarian videos. I'm really impressed by the content and editing skills of them. Oh, by the way, Nicholas, I'm very envious of those papayas. Um, but I tell you what, man, I'm going to be going to Hawaii in a couple days. I'll be posting some uh, some real papayas, man, from Hawaii, man. So anyways, I'll see you guys next time. This is another edition of Fruit and Strength. Boom! Yeah! Rotarian Beast Mode.